I'm Jim Kimball from the Experimental Garden. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit about growing huge onions. I know most of you have seen videos and read books and everything else on how to grow uh, onions, but most of the people, the reason why I'm doing this, most of the people that I talk to grow onions on the on onion sets. And what you're going to have when you use onion sets is just small onions. Maybe a little bit bigger than this, and these are for green onions and that's all you're going to grow out of it. What you need is onion plants. These onion plants are real tiny little plants and there's hardly any on the end of it nothing but you see the roots on it maybe an inch or two. So when you plant them you take this little root here and you dig a hole maybe half inch or something and just lay them in a trench like this and let them stand up you think they're going to fall over and wash away, but they won't. As you can see, this is what I've grown out of these little onion set, onion plants. Uh, now there's onion plants and then there's onion plants. And it, uh, if you want big onions, you got to get on, big onion plants. So I'm just going to tell you a couple of them here. Is Walla Walla is a big onion. Uh, giant sweet Spanish onions are good. Uh, and a red zeppelin is a big uh, red onion. And Alyssa Craig, uh, you can't, very few catalogs carry that. I only found it in one, and that's a Shumway's garden catalog. And that's what these are, Alyssa Craig. Uh, I'm going to give you the um, website in case you're interested in um, ordering these plants. It's www.rhshumway.com. Phone number is 1-800-342-9461. Uh, again, I'm not going to really go into the soil, although this is compost. I've got half compost and half uh, topsoil, dark, rich, black topsoil. And you, a lot of you won't be able to find that, so I've also had good luck with um, uh, garden compost at uh, Walmart. And it's in, it comes in a, a blue bag, and it's uh, about $3 a bag, and I've had good luck with that. Uh, and along with that, the fertilizer I use, of course, is about 10% nitrogen, 10 phosphorus, and about 10% potassium. Uh, I use uh, fish meal uh, for the nitrogen, uh, bone meal, there's about 15% phosphorus uh, for the um, phosphorus, and then uh, potassium, I use kelp, and then I put also a mineral source in here. And I fertilize it pretty good before I plant this. And then about halfway through the season, I fertilize again. And as you can see, this is what we got out of it. Now you notice these um, onions are sitting on top of the ground. And that's from really planting it real shallow. Just let the roots go in there. And dig around it after a while when you see them growing. growing. Uh, and these are all sitting right on top of the ground. It looks like they're not even growing in the ground. But this here is a couple of pounder, and it's five to six inches in diameter, and it's 15 inches in circumference. Uh, as you can see, all these onions here are all good size. I got a couple of small ones in here, but boy, bad time to be doing this video. Mosquitoes are out like crazy. But anyway, I thought I'd give you a little idea on. Uh, how to grow uh, huge onions and like I said a lot of my friends a lot of people I know just say they can't grow them and that's because they're growing and using this and you can't use these. Uh, I hope maybe uh, you try these onions you'll like them they're real sweet onions they grow fast I've had grown these in under uh, under 100 days and that's what they say about 100 to 105 days so I'm, I'm sure you'll be pleased with them and uh, again lots of luck this is again Jim Kimball from the Experimental Garden.